This is a demo on how you can pull together a view of all of the information of a particular subject using various means of displaying that data. In this case, we are going to focus on the drug-drug interactions demo. The drug-drug interaction API comprises a set of drug-drug interaction records supported by evidence from regulatory authorities and literature. There are drug records for the general information on the drug as well. This data isn't available anywhere else as presented. We have built this data to help avoid accidents when someone was prescribed two drugs that were contraindicated. First, you must log into Cortellus Labs, click on the menu icon, and select Cortellus APIs. Scroll down and click the Drug Drug Interactions API icon. In the gray box, select the Demos shortcut, and then click on the Drug Drug Interactions link. First, you need to log in to the Discovery and Translational Science APIs demo website. This takes you to a portal where you can work with demos from the Targets, Drugs, and Drug Drug Interaction APIs. On the main page, if you're not taken directly to the Drug Drug Interaction search, then you need to click on the black button on the top right of the page for DDIs. This will bring up the correct query box for the API discussed within this demo. Over on the right hand side, you have the option to search by drugs or by interactions. We will choose interactions so you can see what drugs interact with our chosen query. Next, you just need to enter a simple query. In this case, celecoxib. Once this loads, you can see this returns 72 results and contains drug-drug interactions related to celecoxib. This data comes from passing the Get Drug Drug Interaction Results operation of the Drug Drug Interactions API. Down the center, you can see the results of your query. The evaluated drug is listed on the left of the arrows, and on the right side is the interacting entity. You can also sort the results either by the evaluated entity or the risk by clicking either option over on the right hand side. We will sort by risk so you can see the drugs that are contraindicated against celecoxib. Looking at the results, you can see on the right of the arrows is the interacting entity, which will either be a drug or a drug family. The type of interaction, such as pharmacodynamics or metabolic, is also displayed for the interacting entity. Under each drug, drug interaction result, you see several items of data. It shows the interacting target and whether it has a weak or strong effect when the two drugs are co-administered. Next to that is the Uniprot ID, which you can click to see the target details from the Uniprot website. After that is the Gene ID, which takes you to the NCBI website. Below those items, you have the risk of the co-administration of the two drugs, such as contraindicated, warning precaution, or beneficial. Next, you have a list of any adverse events. If none provided, it will indicate undisclosed, and if there are none, then the adverse events field will not be listed. Next, it shows the record history, such as added or updated dates. Lastly, is an option for further details on why this record is showing that particular interaction. You just need to click on the small arrow next to details to list the associated studies. Then by clicking on the icon next to each reference, you will see the source details. Additionally, some sources also provide a link to the associated PubMed abstract. For further information on the indicated drug, just click on the drug name. This will bring up the drug record. On this page, you can see various information about the selected drug, such as synonyms, mechanisms, and structures. It also indicates the number of the trials associated with this drug. As you've seen, the Drug-Drug Interaction API 
provides information to determine the effect of the drug or a metabolite on another drug's pharmacokinetic or pharmacodynamic profile. This data can be used to prevent the accidental prescribing of two contraindicated drugs to consumers.